I bought discontinued beauty products from our childhood. So today we are living out that dream with hair products, makeup, body products, and of course an outfit to finish the whole thing off. Most of these I only dreamt of having back in the day, but I didn't get them because I couldn't afford them and my parents thought some of them weren't safe. I'm gonna be using all of this to create our childhood dream makeover that I'm gonna reveal at the end. Starting off with the Conair Quick Wrap. This launched in 2002. Hair strands and string go in the center hole, wrapped hair comes out the other side. It's that that easy, supposedly. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I keep putting my hair in swirly death traps. <gasps> I don't like it, I don't like it. I hate it, 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 I hate it. And one of these days it could go very, very wrong. Hopefully today isn't that day. Wow, oh, it's so little. So this thing actually had a pretty good run for like 10 years. This was $24.99 back in the days of the infomercials, but I had to pay for it secondhand $40. Look at the fun threads that it comes with and these cute beads. Volunteering this piece of hair is tribute. So I just push the button and slowly bring my hair down. How slow? Okay, I think I got the speed right finally. <gasps> wait, it's looking so cute! Ah, wait, I love these colors. Ah! Okay, okay. Those are so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I have to figure out how to tie it off. I would've been so cool in sixth grade for this. <laughs> 10 out of 10 product, honestly. I'm sad that it's discontinued. All right, we're taking it back to the early 2000s with the crimper. This was actually invented in 1976, but I feel like it was such a 2000s staple, especially the brand Bedhead. That was like the brand. I remember my mom having the one that had the interchangeable plates. Does anybody else remember that? It had the different sizes of crimps. All right, I'm saving this top half of my hair for a couple of really special products, but we're gonna crimp all of this. I'm so excited. Hopefully this is cute and it's not a repeat of the Timu straightener. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a crimp. And I feel like you weren't supposed to brush it out. That was like a crime. You would leave it crisp and crimped and then just straight hairspray it. And then I'm gonna leave one straight part for another product that I have coming. Oh my gosh, look at it. I don't even care. I'm bringing crimps back. I'm making it a regular hairstyle. <laughs> so bad for your hair. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, one section done. I'm gonna speed through the rest of this to the final result. I forgot how long this takes. <laughs> that was only half my head, but it's done and I'm actually obsessed with it. We have our two straight spots left for our next product, the pop iron. This thing has had a surge of popularity on TikTok, but it's actually based on the 1989 Conair Impressions tool. Literally, it was the exact same thing. I'm so excited to test this thing out. Okay, here is all the different plates. Wait, it comes with crimper plates. I could have literally I really just used this. <laughs> okay, the options are star, heart, lightning bolt. I think I wanna do a lightning bolt on one side and a heart on the other. Okay, now we put in our lightning. That's so cool. <laughs> put the back back on. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put the lightning bolt on this flat part. I kinda wanna get it going vertical. Please work, please work. Please don't be ugly. Okay, <laughs> hear it. Hey. Oh, did I kind of cut it off? I think I kind of cut it off. <laughs> Dang it, and I can't really redo it unless I straighten that whole piece of my hair again. Well, let's try the heart on the other side. All right, time for the heart. Okay, hopefully I can do a better job on this one. I'm gonna leave it on longer than I left the lightning bolt and hopefully it works. Okay, ready for the reveal? Ooh, okay, that one worked better. I might actually be able to fit another heart. Okay, there's two cute hearts. I give this like a five out of 10. <laughs> when I move my hair, they get kind of weird, but <laughs> the idea is there for sure. Okay, cute. And then the last hair product is something I'm gonna put inside the hearts and I think it's gonna work perfect. All right, I gotta know, are you team 1999 Hairigami or team 2008 Bump It? We're gonna be using both of these today. Bump It in the front, Hairigami in the back. Okay, if you don't remember the Bump It, let me refresh your memory. Bump It's are the incredible self-stripping hair accessory <laughs> that give you perfect style and volume every time. Go from flat to fabulous instantly. Okay, this one actually comes with three different sizes. <laughs> We've got a big one. What? That is so tall. This one's the same length, but just not quite as tall. And then we have a tiny one, which I think might 
might be perfect for my bang bump. That's what I'm gonna go for. I never had one of these. I would just manually try to bump my bangs and it would always like deflate throughout the day. So bump it was honestly kind of genius for the time. Okay, I think I just tease the underside. Put this little guy in the middle. <gasps> That's gonna work so well. Ah, this is hilarious. Uh, I would have died for this entire look in like 2007. Wow. Okay, our look is really coming together. The next step, paragami. I remember seeing this commercial on TV and they make it look so simple. You just fold your hair in, wrap it up and snap it. And it's like this cool design. Today, I am going to be attempting the basic hair sushi look. <laughs> so we're gonna fan this out, sandwich it in between my paragami. And now we wrap it. It's working. Oh, why is it so thick? And my hair is not all one length, so this is interesting. Ah! And then we snap it. Oh! Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay, you definitely need some hairspray and bobby pins to make it look clean. Wow! Does it look cool? Yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna be a perfect base for our next hair product, the fake hair scrunchie. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out when this was invented. It's gotta be 90s. Let me know if you can remember how far back this thing goes. But isn't this gonna be perfect? Over the hairigami bun that we made. These were like the coolest thing. And then in the 2000 teens, they got replaced with those like clip on Ariana Grande ponytails. I definitely had my Ariana Grande clip on ponytail phase. I wore this every day to the gym, but I feel like this is due for a comeback. It's kind of cute. Here we go. I mean, it's kind of fun and you can still see the hairigami in the middle. It's like a messy donut bun. All right, are you ready for our last hair product? 2015 hot stamps. I feel like these have been around longer than 2015 though. They're literally just these like glittery stamps that you stamp into your hair. Okay, so my plan is that the heart hot stamp would fit perfectly in our heart pop iron stamp. We'll see if I was right. Just press and dazzle. Okay, this is 10 years old, I just realized. Are they gonna be completely dried up? So we've got a blue star or a pink heart. Obviously I want the pink heart. I really hope it's not dried up though. Wait, is the whole thing supposed to be full? I think it's literally dried up. Cause look at on the box, the whole thing is full versus what came. Oh no! All of the gel dried up, you can hear it. The crunchy glitter. That's so sad. Note to self, anything gooey that's over 10 years old <laughs> has never worked out. Okay, well here is the final hair look. Even though the hot stamps didn't work, I'm still <laughs> kind of obsessed with how it turned out. And now we're going to create a makeup look that suits it. To kick off our makeup, I have a mystery box of vintage makeup. I'm really interested to see what that means that I got from eBay. I paid $60 for this and my plan is to do full face of makeup using it, but it may or may not all be used. <laughs> all right, let's see. Ta-da. Oh my gosh. Okay, I mean, some of it's new. <gasps> Wait, this is so good. We have some classics in here, like 2012 Urban Decay, Victoria's Secret. I'm actually so excited for this. Glimmer Dust by Bon <laughs> Bell. That just like screams 90s. And then we have a whole other bag of it. Oh my goodness. Look at these juicy tubes and baby lips. <laughs> Am I really about to put this on my face? Most of it's so used. Oh my gosh. I literally had this eyeshadow palette when I first started doing my makeup. <gasps> Like these exact shades of brown. It's CoverGirl and it came with one of the, oh, here's one, here's one. One of these. Literally, there was a time before makeup brushes. Okay, I don't know what this is. Neutrogena Tinted Lip Balm. But it literally has an expiration date on it. December 2006. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's when most of this makeup is from. Let's see what's in this Urban Decay bag. It's the Naked <gasps> Foundation. I totally had this. A very sexy lip gloss. I feel like I had these. MAC Studio Fix. I always wanted this, but it was always so expensive. <laughs> okay, I think I picked my stuff that I'm going to attempt a makeup look with. And I'm totally gonna use these sponges because I definitely used these to apply my foundation back in the day. This is like the worst idea I've ever had. Whoa, 
Wait, it actually works so well still. I'm impressed. There we go. We are mattified now. Cause that was the look during this time. Okay, next. I'm gonna do blush and really our only option is this one. Bellini Baked Highlighter. Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics. Does anybody remember that? It's like a very pink iridescent. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. <gasps> Wait, I love it actually. Ooh, it's kind of like a highlight blush combination. It definitely fits our theme. <laughs> Add some gold to our pink there. We are glowing. Look at that. Interesting. Moving on. All right. Eye shadow. I gotta use this cover girl as my base. Classic. Okay, I would always do like this shade for the crease. Hey, I'm gonna do this roll on eyeshadow. I just, I feel like I have to. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's so pigmented. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And it's so like not messy. I'm kind of into this. Wait, cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, other eye. I kind of love this. <laughs> I feel like we got to do that like 2015 sharp wing. All right, let's do some great lash just to really get that volume on the bottom. Oh my gosh, I used this for so many years. They actually still sell this. Okay, lips. Oh my gosh, I miss the tube lip gloss like this. I think I'm gonna do this light pink one. Beautiful. <gasps> I almost forgot. I need a throwback carrier to keep all my throwback makeup in. <laughs> so I bought a caboodle. These were first made in 1988, but they were popular all the way through the 2000s and you could actually still buy them. I found this one on target.com for $22.99 and they have all kinds of different colors. These are so great. Look at all this storage. Put all my new makeup in it. Yay. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot the most important makeup item from Claire's and you can surprisingly still buy these. It's a cell phone lip gloss. <laughs> it's funny because when you look for these online, they make like a smartphone ones. They're just not as cool as the flip phone cell phone lip glosses. Okay, let's add some of this to our look. I think I want to do the purple. Oh my gosh, the smell. It's always like so overwhelmingly fruity. Oh, do a little mirror. Leo. No, don't lick it, don't lick it. I know it smells like you should lick it, but don't do it. Can I see if it's flavored? It's definitely not flavored. <laughs> okay, well that completes our makeup look. Moving on to our body products. We are now entering a weird era where body products were edible. <laughs> this was like a mid 2000s, 2010s thing. I wanna say the first brand to do it though was Jessica Simpson in 2004, but I got delicious. It looks like it's never been opened. This is supposed to be a warm Tahitian vanilla with white chocolate, coconut cream, honey, and apricot. Guys, this is 10 years old. Is it gonna smell good? More importantly, is it gonna taste good? Oh my gosh, it does smell good. Definitely like a fruity vanilla. Question is, does it taste good? Oh, that was my face. I meant to spray it this way. Okay, here we go. The aftertaste is definitely sweet, but there's something initially there that's suspicious. Wait, did I keep saying that 2004 was 10 years ago? That was 20 years ago. <laughs> My bad, this one is actually from 10 years ago. <laughs> this one's from 2013, so a little more recent. This is the Urban Decay Sparkling Lickable Body Powder. But the disclaimer on this is actually hilarious. Warning, do not ingest. Literally goes against all of their marketing. <laughs> Cocoa is for kissing and licking, but not a food substitute. Don't eat it by the spoonful, I guess. Okay, what is this even gonna look like? Oh. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Wow, it's, it doesn't like stick though. Like you put it on and it just, I wonder if there was like a sticky element at one point. Whoa, I mean, it's a really pretty color. Okay, should we taste it? I'm so nervous. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, that tastes good. Wait, it's like really sweet. That definitely tastes better than the perfume. I'm really impressed actually. Okay, the final step before our outfit choice and reveal, roll on body glitter. You can still buy these $5.99 on Amazon, but this one is definitely based off of the early 2000s Bath and Body Works version. I remember Bath and Body had a whole section of this stuff back in the day and I would always run to it and go test it, but my mom would never buy it for me. Probably because the glitter would get everywhere. Like my glitter today gets everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it looking back. Let's put it on though. I wanna do it like here. Whoa, 
It's very pink. Not that I don't like pink, but that's like very pigmented. I mean, honestly, we could probably bring back the roll-on glitter because it's way less messy than the powders and sprays that are popular right now. Okay, outfit time. And part of this outfit is the ultimate discontinued banned product of the 2000s. I wonder if you can guess what it's gonna be. I couldn't decide on just one look, so I think I should try all of them. And then you can vote in the comments which one is your favorite. Starting with the popcorn dress, an ode to those old expandable popcorn shirts that we all had in elementary school growing up. A little bit of a more modern version. Okay, see if you can guess which movies this dress and this dress are from. Here's a hint. This one is from a 1999 Disney Channel original movie. And this one is from a 2004 film. Honestly, I think this is my favorite look so far. And our final look, the iconic 2000s tracksuit. This is actually Paris Hilton brand. There were two ways that you could wear this look. Either ridiculously low-waisted or the long lace cami underneath. <laughs> What a weird trend. Okay, and then I have one more thing to finish this look off with. You can't think of discontinued and banned 2000s products without thinking of the Skechers Shape Ups. There were so many lawsuits over these shoes and their claims that you could get in shape simply by wearing these goofy looking shoes. Okay, let's put them on. Oh my gosh, look at these things. I've never actually tried these on before. These feel crazy. They're pretty comfy though. All the moms walking around in the neighborhood in 2003 in these. Well, there's the complete look. Make sure to check out my other buying discontinued childhood products if you haven't seen that video yet, and we'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the next video!